What is up everybody? Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Another unboxing today and this time going pulling out of my pile. Deep in my pile of stuff I have not gotten around to unboxing. I thought this one uh, kind of piqued my interest a little bit. Uh, something we don't do a whole lot of is some throwback Marvel Legends unboxing. Uh, especially Marvel Legends from this time period. We do a lot of the new stuff but we don't go back uh, 2015 and we're going to do the Hellcat unboxing. Um, not a figure I'm really excited for. Something I wanted. I want to be kind of a completist with Marvel Legends. Uh, I want to have at least one of every single character. Multiples of many like the Iron Man's, Wolverines, the X-Men guys. I'll have multiples upon multiples. Uh, I'm probably a completist going forward uh, in the last couple of years. That's for sure. I don't think I've missed any release. Um, but some of these back older ones uh, hit and miss for me. And this Hellcat was one of those. Well, playing the long game, always setting alerts on eBay and Mercari, looking for things. I found this for, I don't know, it was like $10 shipped off Mercari. Dirt cheap, beat up box, which is fine by me. I'm going to open it anyways. Uh, but this is one I skipped on. This is about the time I got into Marvel Legends. I started dabbling in about 2015, 2016 era. Um, and I just passed on this one. I have no... Uh, no love for the Hellcat character. Never did really anything to, for me. I, I was aware of her. Don't really know a ton about her. But uh, I did get this uh, just recently, like I said. So let's open this one up. Let's show the packaging. There it is. Kind of the plain Jane bland packaging from the 2015 era. Uh, not a lot of color to it. Um, you can see the side picture here. The other side has uh, Spider-Woman, which we'll get to on the back here. So you can see the combine. So I'll read the back first. Fierce combat skills are unleashed when these heroes spring into action. So the thing I didn't like about a lot of these uh, old school uh, Marvel Legends, old school being 2015, I guess, they uh, same packaging, two figures. And it's non-character specific in the bio, which is a cheap cop-out to me. Um, I think it's just very, very disappointing. And it always drives me nuts. Uh, you know, I remember asking my wife or people I don't know, hey, see if they have this one. They can never tell. You look at the front of the package on this, it doesn't say Hellcat anywhere on the package. Nowhere is it on there. Um, so when you say, hey, you know, Angie, go to Walmart, get me a Hellcat, she would have no idea. She doesn't know who Hellcat is, and it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, it doesn't say it on the side. Um, only place it shows it is on the back, on the right here. Um, that is very difficult for some people, and it drove me nuts too. I'm looking around; it doesn't even say Hellcat on here, but you got to really look for it, which is a big mistake. Um, so that's one uh, thing I have a gripe on with these. The other gripe on the 2015 era Marvel Legends is the quality control. Very hit and miss on the paid applica applications. I'm sure we can find something wrong with this when we open it up. Um, just kind of disappointing, but. Uh, show the Hellcat on the back. I do still need the Spider-Woman. Uh, that's one I kind of regret now not getting. I'm playing the long game. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Maybe I'll find a Mint Lucy one out there somewhere. Um, but I'll get that eventually. But let's open this up. Let's see what we really think about an older Marvel Legend. Um, pulling her out. See you later. Packaging. Uh, background. This is, once again, plain Jane background packaging. No frills. No artwork. Nothing. Uh, Marvel Legends has stepped up so much in the last few years. I mean, they are blowing it out of the water, being smart, reusing parts, putting out a lot of exclusive releases, the build-a-figure concept, which this is included, we'll talk a little bit about, uh, just nailing it absolutely out of the park. Could be my favorite line right now, Marvel Legends. Obviously, WWE, I have a strong loyal disc too, but they have their hits and misses, that's for sure. But Marvel Legends seems to just be knocking out quality content after quality content. So we'll knock out these accessories. Knock out the build a figure. I'll knock out the oh, cat. See you later. Uh, let's talk about these accessories. So it's part of the Thanos build a figure. Um, here it is, an arm, and then of course the head come in this pack. So if you would have got the Spider Woman, the same exact uh, pieces come in that, and that drove me nuts too because now as a build a figure collector, you got two of the same sets. What do you need that for? Um, you know, these two, I already have a Thanos. I actually bought the Walmart exclusive Thanos, which is just a little bit of a repaint of this one. I actually prefer that one to this one. I'm not going to have two Thanoses that are so similar. I'm going to flip these, sell these on eBay, uh, you know, get 12 bucks or something like that for these two. Bought the figure for free. It's basically I got this figure for free. 
That's the great thing about Build-A-Figure Parts is if you don't want to build the guy or you have doubles, you can always sell those pieces and make sometimes as much as the figure back. It's crazy how that works, um, but I do it a lot. If I have extra pieces or whatever, I just sell them and get rid of them. There's no need for uh, more. So these will be going on eBay. I'll be getting rid of those, see if I can make some of my money back. Got the baton accessory we've seen many times. Uh, Daredevil, the most popular this one comes with. Um, you put them together, you can have them together, you can have them separate. Uh, there it is. But um, here is Hellcat. So first impression, your typical female figure. Uh, same body, but you got the kind of cat arms. And I'm already seeing gripes with this one. Drives me nuts. It, you know, it's funny, her face, she looks a lot like uh, Batwoman is what it kind of reminds me of. Um, but uh, very plain Jane figure. <laughs> very, very interesting. Um, but first gripe I see right, uh, below the knees, a totally different yellow paint that does not match the rest of the body. Hopefully that picks up on the camera. It's, it's probably close there, but it's a totally different lighter shade with some of the blue from the, the boot kind of hewing into it. Uh, the quality control on some of these just was not good. And I know the paint scratches very easily on some of these older ones. Um, I would hate to pay 20 plus dollars for this figure or 20 bucks. You know, for eight, nine dollars, it is what it is. It fits there. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. But man, with the quality control and stuff, these old legends, I said it's just night and day. I'm sure they have a whole new team working on them, maybe new factories, new plants, or whatever. Uh, but just night and day, uh, quality wise. Uh, quite quite interesting on the old backside there. Quite the uh, butt on her. Very interesting. Going all out for Hellcat. Gotta love her. Um, a, a good head. I do like the head on this one. Uh, the hair is cool. The cat-like hands are cool, but that's about it. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot for me uh, from there. That is for sure. Let's see. Does, uh, does this old school Marvel Legend fit on here? My guess and my gut's telling me no, but we'll see. Oh my, I was wrong. I'm a liar. Uh, she does fit, but uh, you're going to have to angle her just right to fit. But there it is. She fits on there. You know, I don't know if I'll use her baton on her or not. But this is Hellcat, an older Marvel Legend. I guess like the video, but also leave me a comment. Tell me about these old Marvel Legends. I know some of you guys are deep down the Marvel Legends hole. Do you like these? Do you agree with me? The quality control just wasn't up to par on these ones. Uh, just night and day from now. Now and then. But... There it is. That is the Hellcat. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I ask every time. I think everybody on YouTube says, hey, every time they subscribe to the channel. I'm saying it too. It's just what you do on YouTube, I guess. And you should subscribe to the channel. I, I do content every single day for you guys. Popping out videos, unboxings, deep dives, weekly purchases, fig hunting, reviews, you name it. It's all there for you guys to check out whenever you want. So leave me a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.